we're going to make our way up to standing for some squats and balance work in the transverse plane. I'd like you to grab your lightest TheraBand and you already have on or you need to put on your heaviest loop band in the Uniquely Fit kit. That is our gray loop band and our, so we'll have our yellow TheraBand, which is the lightest band in the kit, and our three pound weight. Go ahead and hold the weight in your non-dominant hand and hold the end of the band in your dominant hand. Standing on the end of the band, we're going to wrap it around the knuckles with the thumb on the outside for security. When you're ready, we're going to start with our legs hip distance apart, sitting back into a normal squat exhale, shifting over into the side with the band, pressing both arms overhead, hold it here. The weighted arm is going to lower and lift on a four count, exhale, lower it down, two, three, four, inhale, lift it up, two, three, four, exhale, lower down, two, three, four, inhale, lift, two, three, four, one more, lower, two, three, four, and lift, two, three, four. Arms come to the shoulders as you stand up on that one leg. Inhale, exhale, lowering the shin down. Inhale, prepare, exhale, sitting back. Shifting over, inhale, pressing the arms overhead. Exhale, the weighted arm lowers, two, three, four, and it lifts, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four, inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale, lower both arms, inhale, standing up on that one leg, exhale, lower the shin down. Go ahead and switch the band and the weight. Setting up for the second side, give you enough time to do that, wrap it around the knuckles, thumb on the outside, step on the end of the band, hold the hands right by the shoulders, palms facing in, shoulders plugged down, Inhale, prepare, feel your pelvis pull towards the floor. Exhale, inner thighs pull you back. Shifting over to that one leg, pressing the arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, the weighted arm down. Two, three, four, inhale it up. Two, three, four, exhale it down. Two, three, four, inhale it up. Two, three, four, exhale it down. Two, three, four, inhale it up. Two, three, Four, exhale, let your inner thighs pull you deeper into that single leg squat, and inhale, stand up on that one leg, feeling the pelvis pull down, the weights lower, shoulder height, as well as the shin at the top on your exhale. Inhale, prepare, last set, exhale, inner thighs pull you back, shifting over to that one leg. Inhale, those arms up to shoulder flexion. Exhale, the weighted arm down, two, three, four, inhale, lift it up, two, three, Four, exhale it down, two, three, four, inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale down, two, three, four, inhale, lift, two, three, four, inner thighs pull you back, exhale, inhale, pelvis pulls down as you stand up. From here, we're going to move into balance in the transverse plane. Now, this is where 90% of injuries occur. So it's imperative that we train in this plane of motion so that if you do fall, we've increased your bone density so that you don't break a bone and that you don't fall because you know how to turn your body and stabilize. We need our lightest loop band around our ankles. This is our orange band in the Uniquely Fit kit. And we're going to need our three pound weight in our hand. We're gonna stand close to the wall about a foot in front so that we can take a quarter turn and we have the wall bias for safety purposes. So wall, bar, or counter is necessary just to keep you safe. We're gonna do a quarter turn, making sure we're stepping onto the loaded arms leg. So the weight should be in the same side as your standing leg. And we're gonna do a glute med position of the leg and scaption arm. So the arm's gonna come up two, three, Four, lower down, two, three, four, lifting up, two, three, four. Notice it's just as high as the chest, palm facing in, shoulder plugged down, shoulders plugged down, chin lifted, gaze a little higher than eye level. Let's take that side one more time. Notice that I'm stepping immediately to a single leg balance, bringing my foot back into the band. 
you do your hamstring kickback, and then you externally rotate the leg from the top of the hip socket, pointing the toes, and then the arm goes up, two, three, four, and lowers down. Don't lock the back leg's knee. Keep a micro bend in both knees. Lift through the core, plantar flex the toes of the leg that's behind you. One more, lower and lift in scaption. And wonderful, switching sides, switching the weight and beginning on your second side. Stepping to balance, find that balance, bring the leg into the hamstring kickback, externally rotate it so it's around the arch of the foot. Take your gaze up higher than eye level, begin the arm work. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. And last time, stepping to balance in the transverse plane. Find that balance. Kick the outside foot into the band. Hamstring kick back. Externally rotate the leg from the top of the hip socket. Point the toes. Hold it here. And lifting the arm up. Two, three, four. Taking it down. Two, three, four. Lifting it up. Two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, one more, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Let's take this band off. We are going to come over to the wall, bringing our dominant arm into a high V, slowly twisting away from it to open up our anterior delts. Hold it here, take your hand, outside hand to the hip, Take your chin up, focus a little higher than eye level. Use your exhales to deepen into that nice stretch and twist. Don't go crazy. Be very gentle, gentle with your rotation here. Breathing into that. On your next exhale, slowly switch sides, setting up for this nice release on the second side. Breathing into that. Good. We're on the second side. Shoulders plugged down. Twisting away from that arm. Keeping the chin lifted. Keeping the belly in towards the spine. And on your next exhale, coming back center. We're going to grab our trigger ball and our yoga block or a book. And we're going to come into a sideline position. You can also use your small anti-burst ball or a pillow under your head. We're going to be rolling out our posterior tibialis. This is this area near the tibia bone, but the fascia. Getting into that in case your squats, your knee traction wasn't great today. We had that loop band around for your safety, but it's still important to get into those muscle fibers so that we reset everything. So begin on the dominant side, getting into that tissue, breathing here. Try not to lift your head up in this position or your upper body. We want to avoid that during our recovery till we get our bone density into the normal, normal levels. So another 30 seconds here to really roll into the posterior tibialis. Make sure you're breathing. Use your breath here. Make sure the abs are not hanging out, that they're pulling in towards the spine. Your collarbone is wide. Your chin is lifted. Your gaze is soft. Your shoulders are plugged down your back. And let's slowly make our way to the other side. Getting into that fascia. Take your time as you come up. Use your abs. As you're digging in, be mindful of the breath, belly in. I like to inhale laterally into my rib cage, upper back, filling it up like an opera singer does, keeping my belly firm and my pelvic floor muscles lifted in and up as if I were stopping my stream of pee. Just another 15 seconds here to dig in. So make it count. Really, really dig in. Breathing. And exhale. 
Good. Deep inhale. And slowly make your way back up to a standing position. Great job. 